you, Justin. Well, right now, parents are rushing to Arborview High School to pick up their kids after hearing about a social media account that includes racial comments and possible threats. The principal is now responding this midday. And 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo is live at the school, and I know you talked to some parents, right, Alicia? Yeah, Dana, that's right. My photographer and I arrived on campus just after a.m. and there were several parents standing outside and they just had finished talking to the principal about that um, that social media threat. Now, a lot of parents told me that this is nothing new, that this has been going on for quite some time here. We did speak with officials who are investigating uh, the incident and they will be staying on campus. There's a heavy police presence on campus as they're investigating this disturbing threat. Again, if you didn't see this threat, here's what one woman had to say about it. What if they wouldn't have did that post? What if they would have just acted out and came up here and shot? That told me that my child was a target. Akiko Cook's obviously upset after learning her son was one of the faces of a targeted social media threat. They were going to shoot up the school and, you know, the kids were monkeys. Showed me the Instagram uh, account talking about the racism in the school and how this was going to be the second Columbine and that they were targeting African-American children. Cooks and other parents pulled their kids out of school today and showed up in person to speak with the principal. And the meeting I was in with the principal, he mentioned um, that they were looking into it along with FBI, I believe, and Homeland Security. While the threat is still under investigation, these parents are determined to get some sort of resolution. They have the owner of the IP address of the account, the account owner. Um, they asked if I would press charges. Absolutely. How um, informed have these children been about school shootings and what to do if one happens? Do they know? Again, several parents still coming to pick up their children from this high school. We see several parents still coming, uh, speaking to us off camera, telling us how disturbing this is. Again, the district and police are investigating. Alicia Patillo, 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas. All right, Alicia, thanks so much. Obviously, we'll stay on this story for you with live shots and online at KTNV.com.